<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome to our Bravo channel. Uh, we got this pro content uh, creator setup going on here. You know how we do, we hold it down here in Tampa Town. Um, but anyways, I'm on the Microsoft Store right now. This is my Xbox profile. I've been on Xbox Live since they were founded. I think uh, the first game I played on Xbox Live might have been Halo 2 on the Xbox One, I believe. I don't remember. Um, and it really got really got into it on the 360. You know, they were packaging headsets with the new 360s when they came out to promote their Xbox Live Gold. You know, you had to get the gold package to play online and stuff. And so, like, everyone had a mic back then and everyone was talking trash and having fun. They were good times. And now it seems like not as many people have headsets and not as many people are interested in talking. Um, so... Unfortunately, I think that error is gone, but yeah, so you can search in here Razer if you search like uh, Oops, not that button. Uh, how do I go back? Um, uh, no, no, no uh, Yes oh, No, that just moves it back. How do I like oh, X? Okay, there we go. So if I search Razer It comes up right here, so you have the Razer Razer controller set up so Razer also makes a sweet uh, controller for the Xbox. It's about 200 bucks. Uh, it's called the Wolverine version 3 Pro and I think it's the best controller for Xbox. It's the best. It's better than than the Microsoft Elite controller um, and it costs the same price. Um, so one, it has Hall Effect joysticks which are anti, you know, drift. They're, they're notoriously uh, good at not getting drift and so like those are in the controller. Um, the buttons are also mechanical buttons, uh, which is nice. Um, and there's tons of stuff you can do with it. Program, blah, 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 so forth and so on. Yeah, they got the back paddles, they got all that, they all get all that going on. Um, so it's a great controller, whatever. We're doing it in the Razer audio setup. I've already downloaded this, but I wanted to show you where I got it from. So you click on that. So I own this, so yes, I'll click. What, why is it installing? Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, well, let me go back out to my home page. It should be right there. Yep, there it is. So I'll click on that. The headset, I don't know if it's on still. Oh, I think I got to power it on. I think it turned off while it was sitting there. Okay, there we go. And I like that this headset talks to you. Uh, everything that you do when you turn on the power, other than the volume uh, and the game chat mix, um, when you spin those dials, it's not going to tell you obviously anything, but when you touch a button, it tells you what you're doing, which is nice. So here we go. So we got the Black Shark version 3 Pro Xbox showing up here. You can see my battery is in the top right at 63%. So let's see, we got the audio, audio equalizer. So that's loading. Okay, so it looks like I can do everything on my Xbox. So this is more in depth than the phone app. And if you want to see what the phone app can do, you can look at my uh, video on YouTube. I uploaded it a couple days ago. But this looks a lot more um, <clears throat> uh, detailed, let's say. So look, you got default game. Doesn't look like, uh, so if I select that, does that look like, oh, so that's what that does. Uh, so it doesn't show you when you just hover over it. It shows you after you select it, what it did with it. So your base, and your low mids are up, but like, I've been on it like this. I've been on the default. Like, I've just been using these right out of the box. I haven't turned any Dolby Atmos or anything on. Um, so I've just been using them straight out of the box, but yeah, these got, they've got all these, what's this EQ list? So they can edit. Oh, so they've got more that it looks like you can download. Counter-Strike, Call of Duty, Esports 4, Apex Legends. So they've got more EQs that you can download. Um, and then you can adjust it right here on your own, right? And build your own EQ if you want to. So I'm just gonna leave that alone for now. Microphone settings. So this is where you can adjust uh, <coughs> how your microphone sounds. So like your mic monitoring, for example, I have my mic muted right now, but if I unmute it, oh no, oh, it's muted now. Okay, now it's unmuted. So yeah, I can hear myself in my headset. And a five I think is a good, you know, nice low volume where you can hear yourself at a low volume, uh, and, but everything else is gonna be louder, right? So, and then the mic equalizer, you can uh, change this to different 
uh, settings. So I have it set on broadcast because I heard that's the best, you know, that's, that's the way the mic sounds the best. But again, you can adjust them. You can do the different presets they have. Um, so you have that option as well. I mean, if anything uh, that I've learned with, with this product from Razer is that you can customize the shit out of it. Even the ear cups on the side, you uh, see where it ha has a Razer emblem on the side of the ear cups next to the mic, those can be changed out, right? You can pop those off and buy new ones or you can 3D print on them, I'm sure. Active noise cancellation. So it looks like I have it on and it's on the max level. So yeah, all right, that's fine. Advanced settings, they can call audio mix. So this is what, it, uh, if someone calls me and I'm, I'm uh, you know, connected to my phone, it's gonna, it's gonna do combined 2.4 and Bluetooth. So that's the sound. You can have it lower the volume of the 2.4 gigahertz input or mute it altogether. So you can have your game muted when you're trying to talk on your phone. So, or you can have it, you know, loud. Uh, oh, advanced settings, I think, uh, ultra low latency. So ultra low latency with the Gen 2 dongle that's checked, everything's working, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I think that was it, right? Yeah, and then power settings. So indicator LED. So this is uh, displays a static white light when connected to the dongle and turns off when disconnected. Or you could do battery level. <clears throat> so that'll show you your headset's battery level. It'll, it'll uh, gradually change from green, yellow, and red. And battery warning only blinks red when the device is critically low charge but otherwise remains off. Okay, so I think connection status is fine. The light on it is green. That's great. So I think, I don't know. Um, okay. So this is telling me everything about the headset here. So you're, uh, uh, so obviously you have the hyperspeed wireless Gen 2 technology. You've got the nice full band 12 millimeter mic. Um, Active noise cancellation, uh, 50 millimeter drivers, Gen 2, which are, those things are awesome. So like they use, um, uh, they, I, they're tuned differently. I, I don't really want to go over it, but uh, yeah, they're good. Four modes of connectivity, next gen surround sound. So let, let's see, it says elevate your gaming experience on Xbox with an expanded competitive sound stage. It keeps you plugged in. Okay, so uh, powered by Windows Sonic and THX. So I think I got to turn Windows Sonic on in my Xbox settings. And these are the different EQs we're talking about. Okay, none. So it looks like um, it doesn't look like I can do anything else as far as turning on the. Um, it doesn't really tell me anything what's the best settings for the Xbox, which is what I was hoping for. Um, this is great that I can do all this on the headset, but um, I don't think, okay, so we got online master guide, factory reset, software version, so this is up there, firmware version, okay, so we're good on that. And then I guess exit. Yeah, so we're gonna do that, but we're, what we're going to do is we're gonna go over to setup Look at the audio output, and then we're going to. So we got headset audio. We got Dolby Atmos for headphones, which I believe these can do. But I think if we change it to Windows Sonic, so I just changed it to Windows Sonic, and I'm going to try that and see if that does anything. Um, I also might go back in the app because I think I did see a uh, setting that I wanted try. Um, I think there was one of the equalizers that I wanted to try. So game is like this. Then. So that looks like it could be better. I think that looks like I might like that better. So I'm going to put that on game. Yeah, the bass and the low mids are really high. So I'll be able to hear footsteps really good. And I think that's good. That's what I want. So we're going we're gonna to leave it. We're going to leave it like that. We got it on Windows Sonic now, so we are going to try that. I'm about to get online here uh, in about 20 minutes. So that is the setup for the razors. Um, anything else I wanna talk about them? Um, they're my favorite gaming headset I've ever owned. Let's just put it out there. They can be used on the Xbox, the uh, 
PS5, PC, I believe the Switch, not sure about the Switch 2. Um, you know, pretty much anything you can plug a USB-A into or Bluetooth or 3.5 millimeter jack even. So they can pretty much be used on almost anything. Um, I listened to music to them on the other night uh, while going to bed and they sound fantastic for music. They even have a music setting that you can get on there. Um, I talked on the phone with them today and uh, you know, by using the mic on the headset and that came very clear and good. So I definitely recommend them. Uh, thank you for watching and I will let you know if this sounds any better. Take care.